have a look at this snake here. This is a scarlet king snake. Now this is one of the best representations of aposematic coloration you're ever gonna see in nature. But what exactly does that mean? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Now this is a huge, oh it's okay, huge, wild and gorgeous Mississippi Scarlet King Snake. They're an incredibly rare snake species that can be found in habitats like this, this open longleaf savanna. But it's also the area where you can see the venomous eastern coral snake. Now the question is, why are these snakes colored bright red? I mean, you could see there, this snake is not camouflaged whatsoever, and those bright colorations you would think would be a dead giveaway to predators. You hear aposomatic said a lot more than somatic, but this would be aposomatic. You can have brightly colored animals that are safe, that are mimicking the dangerous ones, and you can have just brightly colored animals that are dangerous. So there's not really a specific coloration in nature that is definitely dangerous or definitely safe. It's always important to know exactly what animal you're looking at before interacting with it. Now, there there is another aspect to this. You might could say, oh, well, it's aposomatic coloration to scare away predators. That's good and done. Well, we don't actually know if that's the case because the studies that showed aposomatic coloration being true were done a few decades ago. And what they did to study this is they went and they put fake snakes out in the field to see if predators would attack them. They put fake solid colored snakes and fake, you know, patterned snakes. And then they put fake coral snakes and fake scarlet kings. And what they found is predators would attack the brightly colored animals less. So they determined, okay, well, bright colors, predators avoid them. What we now know is that many predators actually cannot see this pattern of snake very well. Birds and other nighttime predators in particular have a rough time seeing red and these colorations at night. And that's really interesting because these are a nocturnal species. Coral snakes and scarlet kings, as well as scarlet snakes, all come out at night. These brightly colored snakes hide during the day, you almost never see them during the day, and then at night they come out on the prowl hunting for lizards, hunting for new places to live, and new bark to go under. And that is something that we did not realize is most of their predators cannot see them. The reason that we don't realize that is obviously we don't see like other predators do. I would have to imagine that this is a very different looking animal to them than we see it. And that's very interesting to note that we still are learning so much about these animals. There's still a lot that we don't know about them because we look at this bright red coloration and we naturally think, well, it's bright red because it's dangerous or it's warning us that it's dangerous. And if it's not, then it must be faking it. But there's probably a much more in-depth look at why these snakes are this color. There's probably a reason that this is a really good look for this animal. Now, coloration in nature is very interesting. Obviously, we don't see out here a lot of red and when we do see red it's on a plant you know whenever we see these bright colors we see like red and yellows and they're all on plants and things that want the attention of other things so animals that would hide you wouldn't necessarily think they'd want to be a bright color but many of them do funny example i actually typically wear a blue shirt whenever i'm doing the backgrounds for these videos because blue is such a rare color in nature that if i hold it up to my shirt it's going to have really good contrast so you can see this snake is that red yellow and black and that's got really good contrast against the blue. There's not any bright blue snakes out here. There's some colors that are more naturally usable than others. Blue is not one of them. Yellow is fairly usable, some reds, some browns, but it is a much less common color than other snakes that we're seeing. And that's a very interesting thing, wondering like, why would it be bright red? And why would something else not be bright blue? These are very interesting questions that we have to still answer about these animals. Just a little bit of in-depth analysis on aposomatic versus somatic coloration, as well as maybe some of the other facets that this animal might have that help it survive out here that we might not even know about. We're still studying these animals. We're still learning about them. I'm still learning about them. And I hope you guys are doing the same, coming along with me on these adventures and learning about these animals for yourself. A really gorgeous snake. We're gonna go ahead and put him back. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to check out the time we found the venomous counterpart of the Scarlet King, the Eastern Coral Snake. That's all for today, and we will see you guys next time. That is a stunning snake. Come on, buddy. Back on your tree. There you go. That is so cool.